What's going on you guys? So another Acer Aspire desktop. Gonna be an upgrades. So this has got an Intel Core i5 CPU here at the 13th gen. So what I will do is I'm gonna put them aside like this. I'm gonna go ahead and so that one screw here at the bottom, one at the top. So you have to use a Phillips head screwdriver. You're gonna slide it to the left. So first I'm gonna do is remove the front cover plastic. These slides, so see it's all plastic. So we're gonna move this right here, this little panel. See this panel right here? This for the holds it for the hard drive three and a half inch you can install here. So there's one, two, three, four screws you have to remove. So this will slide like this, lift it up and lift it up like that. So I'm gonna show you guys, so you can install a three and a half inch like that, hard drive here, just like that, you see that? If you want to, and you're gonna use the screws right here. One, two, three, four, and you're gonna basically connect the SATA and power cable right here on the side. They come, when you buy a new PC, they get a power cable. Uh, SATA cable is included. Stuff like that, so the accessories, mouse. So two SATA cables, and this is for the SATA power. You see right here, you have to connect it to the motherboard right here. So don't forget. And you get a new keyboard also. So what I will do is, First, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the, right here also the front here. Four screws here. You got three screws here. You have to remove. Uh, this will require for if you're gonna be upgrading a solid state drive, NVMe. So you can disconnect the CPU over here, the four pin, and the six pin right here for the power. And we'll slide to the left like that. And this is where the 2280 M.2 SSD is here, right there, NVMe. So I'm gonna be using a mini Phillips head screwdriver. Remove the screw here in the middle. And it slides off like this, lift it up and it comes out. It's got a 512 gig solid state drive, it's pretty good. But I'm gonna be installing like a little bit better one here. This comes with the heatsink. If you guys don't have a heatsink installed, uh, leave this thermal pad on. But if you have a heatsink you're gonna be installing, then you're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Screw back on here, just like that. That's installed. Now, what I will do is quickly. So guys, this got a eight gigs of RAM DDR4. And it's a single channel, it's pretty slow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ram. Have another stick in here. You guys can see, so you're gonna lift this up like that. And so it'll be a total 16 gigs of RAM installed, RAM. And it'll be dual channel. So what I'm gonna do is you connect back the six pin power right here. 
I'm gonna slide it back in, install back the CPU power four pin right there, and you're gonna install back the screws. That's complete. So there's another problem with this PC. It does not have a rear system fan right here. It will it will run fine, but I do recommend installing uh, either 92 millimeter or 80 millimeter fan. So this is a 92 millimeter. This is 80 millimeter, but I require four pin, four wire, and it's gonna be connected right there in the corner. You see that? That's what you're gonna connect it right there. And you're gonna install a fan like this, so the airflow will be going this way. If you install a fan like that, that's the wrong way. You have to install the right way, like this. So the airflow will be going that way, just like that, you see? So what I will do is I'm gonna install the back side and install the screws here for the, for the fan. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, the fans are available. I'll put it, you guys can buy them online. Install two more screws here for the fan. complete so I'm gonna turn around I'm gonna install this fan connected back to the motherboard just like that and you complete you're done so what I will do will be the last part is install the video card here it doesn't have a video card it's just integrated graphics and the power supply in here is a 300 watt it's actually pretty good actually it's 80 plus so you can go RX 6400 or you can go GTX 1650 so you can install here, low profile. So what I will do is I'm gonna go ahead and slide this like that and move the PCI bracket, the top one. And you can install the video card here in the top one of where the black slot, PCI Express times 16, the bottom one is PCI Express times one. Just like that, you guys can see better. Okay, so. I'm gonna install like this. So the video card is installed. I'm gonna slide this like that. Now, so this is the video card. Now I wanna go and install the this panel here, back like that. And install back the screws. Okay. There's one here in the bottom. One here in the top. And be the last one here. Complete. And we'll install the front cover plastic here. Just like that. And lift this up like that. complete
and the side cover panel. Now, take this. I'll take the screws here. One on the bottom, one on the top. You install here. And the last one. Complete. So I'm gonna show you guys. And this is how it's gonna look like. So the video card got a HDMI port, DVI port. You're gonna plug in the, video, the monitor right here in the video card. And here's the fan installed, the 80 millimeter. See you guys, this being another video. Uh, thanks for watching, bye.